Hello and welcome into the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. And it's a, a somber day for us today, uh, dropping that first round game in the NCAA tournament. However, there's going to be positives to take away from it. Uh, yeah, it, it was um, a little devastating. You know, we, we, we were in the match, and we really never believed we were never going to lose. And so sometimes you're in a match, and you kind of know you're going to lose. We did never thought we would lose. We thought we'd go five. Uh, we, we, you know, we won the first set. We hit really well. And um, second set, they played much better than us. So we go in one-to-one -one in the third set, and you know, lose 26-24, mm -hmm. and 25-23 um, and in the fourth. So uh, there was a lot of positive but there were some negatives as well. Uh, and some of those positives are some of the individual performance. First, mm -hmm. Chelsea Ireland involved in nine of the 14 total blocks. Yeah, Chelsea had a really good uh, match as far as blocking. Actually, the whole team did with 14 total blocks, which is, I believe, the most we've had all year. Something that, uh, you know, I think a good scouting report and be able to read the setter and read their offense uh, contributes to that but uh chelsea you know got on the board with nine block assists i think that is the most she's had this year and those blocks just helped you know elevate the level of play you know after a block the the team just is you know emphatic about yeah it. yeah yeah because there's a lot of blocks that the other team just digs right back up mm -hmm. but for them to go to the floor and be a point you know it's actually and statistically it's counted as a hitting error for the other team mm -hmm. uh so you know 14 of them in, th in four sets is darn good and you talked about it a little bit um, with some of the individual performances before we hit record. Uh, Deanna Bradbury having mm -hmm. as many digs as she did. Yeah, I thought Deanna probably played one of her best matches of the year with 29 digs. You know, it's over seven. You know, she's averaging around five digs a set, but you know, this time seven seven digs per set. And you know, actually both teams defensively played uh, extremely well. It was a very entertaining match and just super athletic plays made throughout. And he touched on it earlier as well. Um, you guys never counted yourselves out of the match at all, and that's the way it's been all season for you guys too. That mentality. Right, you know, and you, Joe, you look at the statistics. Um, we out hit them by forty points. We out blocked them by four. Uh, unfortunately, the you know we've talked about this all year. It's a passing and serving game. Uh, we made a few more service errors than they did, and they had a few more aces than we did. And that turned out when you know when the total, if you out of all the points, we lost by three points, and you know, and those things become a little bit more glaring. What does the season that you have uh, that you just had? What does that do in terms of optimism, A, heading into the offseason for indoor, and then some of these players are also playing on the beach team? Um, I think when they step away from the season, to tell you the truth, we don't go to the NCAA tournament, it, it, it's, uh, the season is not successful. Mm -hmm. And we did do that. We just fully expected to go a lot farther than what we did. Um, so I think when they look back at uh, the win against Eastern when they were number 13, the win against Hopkins, who did go to the second round, upset uh, Christopher Newport. I'm not sure that was that much of an upset, but Hopkins was the sixth seed, and they upset Christopher Newport. So it beat Hopkins. Uh, the win against Stockton, um, and, of course, Messiah was, mm -hmm. was a huge win in the championship game. So there's a lot of really good things. I think that they come away with a lot of confidence, knowing full well that they can play on that national stage. Uh, and we didn't play bad. You know, mm -hmm. When you hold a team to hitting 098 and you lose, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's a little tough to swallow. Yeah. I mean, because our defense, you know, which includes that blocking, uh, really played very, very well. And, of course, a tip of the hat to the seniors that leave us after this season and uh, – had an outstanding career and performance all season long. Yeah, well, uh, Kristen Brooks in this same match last year against the same team, the first round NCAA, uh, struggled a little bit passing. Uh, and we didn't have to tell her, Chris, they're going after you. Mm -hmm. Well, they did. She received 40 balls, and the coach on the other team told her at the end, we finally just stopped serving you because she passed so well. Yeah. And she graded out as our top passer mm -hmm. uh, that particular match. But to, to just show, she took 40 receives. Deanna took 22, and Annika took 19. So she took double, of any, almost right. double, of anybody else. And she responded, uh, which was great for her. Uh, Sarah Bollinger had, you know, I thought a fan fantastic year um, mm -hmm. to be a good leader and get second team all conference and she was only setting three rotations I thought that was pretty well per, uh, very well as 
as well. And um, Kelsey Stave, Jackie Zeppa um, were really vocal mm-hmm. in, in practice. They did play uh, some during the year. They did not play in the NCAA tournament game, but um, – great contributions in their four years it's tough to play a sport for four years and they made amazing contributions on and off the court she they absolutely did all across the board and uh we tip our hats to Mm -hmm. you and the the seniors and the the members of the team and uh congratulations on a season well had in the Six straight time into the con- into the tournament. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to go for seven now, we'll go for and we seven. just want to go farther. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck, Coach. Thanks, Joe. He's Dave Trombo. I'm Joe Wamman. This has been the Coach's Corner.